Hello, my name is Yulia. I come from Romania, from a city called Sibiu. Since three weeks ago, I was a resident here at the temple for four months. And I would like to tell you about my staying here at the temple and how this changed my life. I began reading spirituality since I was very, since I was like 12 years old. And from time to time, I questioned myself a lot. So I ended up studying philosophy in Bucharest because I was almost tormented about what's going on, who I am, and most of all, why do I have to ask myself these questions? There, uh, I was a volunteer in a, on a spiritual center, and I met there Chungan Sunim. It was a special conference to me, because I asked only one question and I felt that he truly answered me. Uh, some months passed and I organized his next conference in Bucharest. But between these months, I was suffering really intensely. I couldn't bear it. I watched people on the street and asked myself, how could they live so easily? They don't question anything. They just are. And at the same time, I envied them, but at, and I blamed them also because they lived in this ignorance and they feed their egos out of it. So, I thought that knowing was the path, reading most of all, hearing conferences. I thought that this knowing relation to the, the world, to reality, would save me. But it didn't. It only made it worse. And my suffering became even bigger because of this knowing, because I couldn't get out of duality, no matter what I did, it was in vain, it was for nothing, because everywhere it was me. Everywhere I faced, I tried to speak with other people, I only see myself. So I had enough, I graduated philosophy and I said to myself that I have to do something, because it was unbearable and I created the possibility to come at the temple. No matter what my parents said or thought, I left away my, my life, my friends, everybody. So it was a, a tough decision, but I wanted this. So I arrived at the temple and my suffering was bigger and bigger every day. I remember that I was crying and during chanting I was crying and I couldn't abstain myself and I was embarrassing myself so. But it passed because, because of the practice. Only, only practice helps, no matter what. This is my, my opinion and I'm speaking out of my own experience. No matter what we know, what, how much we read, who, what person do we encounter and we find out some more, we only attach these teachings to our ego because we make sense of it, we try to apply it, but it's the same I who applies these teachings. So it doesn't work. It, it works only for, for a shorter, short period and then you still are sinking into your own self. So, 
I practiced, but even the practice was a bitch, <laughs> so to say. Yeah, I didn't like it because I tried and I tried. So I was meditating and my, my mind went away. So I said, oh, come on, this is not working. And I was very angry. Every day, I was so angry. I was angry because I came at the temple. What am I doing here? This is not good for me. I, it doesn't it doesn't work. It doesn't happen anything. What should I do? So I, I returned to the, the moment and blaming myself every day that I'm not being present. And then a surprise came. Uh, I became the kitchen master at the temple. And I had even greater duties, so I was more occupied. But that doesn't mean that I really don't, didn't have time for thinking, because my thinking only grew, because I have to do this and that. And what? I, I, I came here to cook. Come on. <laughs> so now, what can I say? I'm happy because I was the kitchen master, because I chopped not only the vegetables, I chopped my karma with it. So I'm happy, I'm truly happy, because I stopped, I don't know, pit, I stopped pitying myself. I don't pity myself. I don't listen to that inner voice who says this and that, and I. I don't have to respond to that voice. It's like I'm my own judge. Who says so? Only I. So the, the answer was, came out of the practice. So it's only in being, because when you think, you're always in duality. So you either do this or that. It's either bad or good. So no matter what you do, you are still there. So it's only in that point when you are, truly are, and that's it, no matter what. But I tell you, without, without the practice, nothing good can happen, at least for me, because I suffered, I didn't have any friends, <sighs> I had a bad relationship with my mother, I really didn't want to work because I liked studying, it was easy, and for shorter periods of time it offered me some, some answers, and I pitied myself. But now I have a job, my mother became my best friend, and even I cannot believe it. And I'm not really, let's say, I'm not happy because that will have an, uh, an oppose, but I'm just, I just am. So, so to say, I'm happy that I am the way I am. So I'm not searching for anything. I keep on practicing, and that's important and enough for me, at least for now. Because even though I feel this good now, I still came at the temple. I came, came to practice. I am not even enjoying, enjoying every moment right now, but it helps me just be and discover, let's say, the step by step, my true nature. So, I don't know, it sometimes the stories that other people say help me understand myself. So I hope that you can understand yourself by hearing my story. Thank you. <laughs>